following animation is a schematic presentation of peripheral nerve injury grading. Injury classification is depicted according to the Seddon and Sunderland classifications. Each grade will be described in the following fashion. Injury type, according to the Seddon and Sunderland classifications, functional disorder, anatomical and pathophysiological basis, and finally, expected prognosis and recovery. It is important for the viewer to understand that each injury grade is a defined separate process from the previous or following grade rather than a continuous process as might wrongly be interpreted from this animation. A grade one injury is basically a local conduction block. Both motor function and proprioception are mainly affected, while some sensation and sympathetic function may be preserved. Primarily thick myelinated fibers are damaged, with possibility of myelin loss, axonal continuity is preserved, and there is no Wallerian degeneration. Grade 1 injury is reversible within days to weeks. In this experimental rat model, intrafascicular tibial nerve injection of doxorubicin, a potent broad-spectrum chemotherapeutic, provides axon segmental demyelination followed by remyelination. Electron microscopy shows a basal lamina scaffolding around a large diameter single axon, denuded of its Schwann cell and myelin sheath on longitudinal section. Magnified image of a longitudinal epon section with several axons demonstrating segmental demyelination. In a grade 2 injury, conduction loss occurs at the level of injury and distal nerve segment. Axonal continuity is lost and Wallerian degeneration occurs, while endoneural tubes and all connective tissue infrastructure are still preserved. For recovery to occur, axonal regeneration is needed with precise orientation of the growing fibers since endoneural tubes are preserved correct targets will be re -innervated. In grade 3 injuries, conduction is lost at and distal to nerve injury. Axonal continuity is lost along with the endoneural tubes while the perineurium and therefore fascicles remain intact. Bleeding and edema lead to scarring, also known as a neuroma and continuity. Axonal misdirection may occur entailing a poor prognosis. Surgery is considered. Intraoperative microscopy images of a young woman's medial arm sustaining a blunt injury several months earlier, resulting in a clinically complete ulnar nerve injury. Focal neuroma in continuity is observed. Internal neurolysis with epineurotomy and intraneural dissection was performed revealing fascicular continuity. In grade 4 injuries, along with axonal and endoneural discontinuity, the perineurium is compromised, while the external epineurium is observed intact. There is a complete disruption of the nerves guiding scaffolds along the intraneural scar formation in severe axonal misdirection. This grade entails an even poorer prognosis for which surgery is required. In the most severe and final grade of injury, a transection or rupture of the entire nerve trunk has occurred. Surgical repair with coaptation of severed nerve ends are required for recovery. Prognosis will depend on injury mechanisms and multiple factors. Review chapter body text for detailed process. Thank you.